What is gender? A question asked by many. Some are allies, some are enemies. And my mom. When people think of gender, they sometimes get it mixed up with sex. As I'm sure we all know, here in Spectrum that is, they aren't the same. Disclaimer, I am in no way an expert, so please excuse me if I get something wrong. Although I'm pan, I'm also not as deep into the community rabbit hole as others are. There will be some jokes cracked here and there, and my intent is not to offend. It is merely satire. In other words, don't go complain on Twitter. Sex, gender identity and pronouns, and gender expression are three different things. For example, as for me, I'm a cisgender male. So the three items for me are pretty simple. I don't usually get misgendered, aside from the occasional drive through customer calling me ma'am. But for someone who is non-binary or trans, it may be a bit different. I'm sure most of us have figured this out by now. But for those who've been living under a rock, for those who haven't, sex is something that is biologically decided and cannot be changed without going through a complex and expensive process. So if you have non-supportive parents who won't help you pay for it, or you do and they aren't making dollar dollar bills, a gender change is probably the path for you to follow, and this is where pronouns come in. Gender identity is something everyone uses in their own way. You can identify as any gender that you feel comfortable with, and it's up to others to respect it and for you to enforce it. The base genders are usually male, female, and non-binary. From there, potentially a lot more. Some I may not even know about. For, as for a few examples, demigender, genderqueer, bigender, and of course, attack helicopter. You can identify as non-binary and have more masculine qualities, or vice versa. Pronouns, ideally, are like your name. It should be something you start an introduction with, and I'm hoping this becomes normalized. Of course, if it's something you don't want to do, say for example you're not out there yet, then that's fine. We're all about keeping you in your comfort zone until you're ready to leave it. Sherbro will encourage you, but never force you. There's another version of pronouns called neo-pronouns. The definition of neo-pronouns from the New York Times is as follows. A neo-pronoun can be a word created to serve as a pronoun without expressing gender, like z and zer. A neo-pronoun can also be a so-called noun self-pronoun, in which a pre-existing word is drafted into use as a pronoun. Personally, I don't quite understand it. But I do hope to learn more about them from people who use them. So if you do, or you know someone that does, I'm here to listen. Thanks a lot for your time watching this. Now if you'll excuse me, I gotta go back to making memes, which is my usual content. So if you're interested in that, hit that subscribe button and swing on by. See ya!